We having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. <laughs> Mr. McGuire is back. So come on. back home now. Let's have ourselves oh, everything's a party. going to be okay. Uncle Sean oh, is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. Did you get a bump on the head? And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you fine folks? <laughs> I suppose. You're looking lovely okay. as ever, if I may say hey so. There. Hey there. Oh, stop. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This is Oi. Yeah. Look at me, with the bell of the ball. <laughs> Too short. Suddenly you seem much better, Marston. Don't feel too sudden to me. Just when the drinks come out. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Sean will make your life hell when he finds out you're an O'Driscoll. Oh, great. Okay, Jose. Well done, Arthur. Oh, it wasn't just me. The wind broke free, a wild song singing, and softly murmuring flows the stream. Come on. The bird broke free, its wild way winging. And I roam and sing with horns first beat. Glad to have your Irish friend back. Ah, he's not really my friend. Well, okay then. Good morning, Arthur. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train. Pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. 
Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Thank mm -hmm. you. 